Como mínimo es perturbador todo esto, jóvenes. Como mínimo. Perturbador. Tal vez puede ser que se refiera a nosotros como una persona. Por eso habla en femenino. Estoy yo pensando constantemente de que somos una mujer, pero puede ser que se refiera a eso, somos una persona. Pretendo ser una persona tranquila. Puede ser. Señora, fíjate, tú de sí. Estoy intentando pensar qué se supone que es esto, qué representa. Cuando dice me he sentido tan sola, no sé, no sé qué quiere decir. He pensado que pueda ser una relación amorosa, he pensado que puede ser alguien que haya fallecido, pero también se me ha pasado por la cabeza que a lo mejor sea todavía más profundo. Look around here. You can step back out the door you came in through. Sí, sí, lo sé. Puede ser que sea incluso todavía más profundo, que se esté refiriendo a a la musa, a que no es capaz de crear porque no tiene ideas. Mis amigos. Tiene de vez en cuando bajones. Lo pongo. ¿Puede ser que la máquina se refiera a la industria de los videojuegos? Como está constantemente hablando acerca de que 
ningún videojuego merece sufrimiento merece mmm, la destrucción emocional de la persona ¿no? El llegar a sentirse vacío por completo Qué susto. Vale. ¿Y ahora? La ciudad de que se quedó. So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this game, shortly after he made it, here's what I'm thinking to myself. I'm thinking that Code is stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. It might get him out of isolation. And so, as I'm thinking this, I realize that I could be the one to initiate it. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback, so what if I did it for it? If he could see the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Would it give him confidence in himself? Would it bring meaning back into his work? So I started showing Coda's work to people. I took this one, and the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison escape games. I brought them to people that I knew and, and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the point of it all is just to give them some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need, to be told that my work is good, that I am good. When, when someone really connects with a thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, 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 there's nothing that feels better. And I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something, I really felt like I'd done something good, like, Like, I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and, and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it. If I could give him this gift, maybe I could fix the problem. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. So beautifully, beautifully happy. Um, so anyway, Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email, and it's got a private link to a new game of Coda's. This one is called The Tower. And to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. So let's take a look.
And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like it's trying to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. This room actually has a maze in it. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level, so when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. I had to cut it off so that you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. I feel like a failure, I guess, when I can't fix the problem. But I can open this door for you, so let me do that. Was I a failure for not understanding this game? I, mean, I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. I feel like I failed, and I don't understand why. I remember, it's June of 2011, I'm playing this for the very first time, and as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself, I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the guy I knew, it wasn't my friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them... I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. Los tres puntos, es verdad. Habréis visto en varias ocasiones durante el juego que hay tres puntitos. Bueno, ahora mismo no se ven, pero 
Esto lo he visto en varias ocasiones Que hay como tres puntitos Y aquí hasta dónde se va Ah, vale, que hay un muro invisible No me deja tirarme <ríe> Vale, es que como veo eso ahí Yo digo, pues a lo mejor no No puedo tirarme Pero sí, lo de los tres puntitos Sí que me había preguntado yo también ¿Y eso? Pues fíjate, aquí el amigo también hace la pregunta esto es como si entraras en a ver yo lo veo de esta forma por ejemplo en el arte ves un cuadro la mayoría abstracto que dicen que eso es arte moderno y empiezan a sacar historias acerca de quién es el autor, si está mostrando deseos, si está mostrando traumas, si está mostrando miedos, pesadillas, son capaces de analizar o psicoanalizar todo lo que ven en él. Pues esto es lo mismo, ¿no? Mediante la obra del autor, estos juegos, el narrador, David, está analizando a su amigo, Koda. I just felt so strongly that if I could have connected with him, that if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. I needed to be someone other than me. But he stopped and left. And it felt somehow like I had failed. Did I screw up? I'm the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? It's because of what I did. I poisoned it for you. ¿En serio? I don't think I ever told you this, but when I took your work and I was showing it to people, it actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. Vamos, que a Koda no le gustó que utilizara sus juegos y los publicara. Y si resultara que sus juegos fueron una forma de evadirse de la realidad. Como esa persona que está encerrada y que su única realidad son los videojuegos, por ejemplo. Puede ser. Entonces, claro, si el desarrollo de juegos... Al desarrollar juegos es una forma de evadirte de la realidad, de, de sentirte bien. Es la única forma de la que te sientes feliz. Es que, es, realmente es como si esto es algo tuyo, es algo muy, muy, muy profundo, muy, muy personal. Es algo que no... es como si estuvieras escribiendo un diario. Nadie tiene que leerlo, ¿verdad? Y... And... The people who played them, they treated me like I was important. They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. ¿Colgarles farolas? Esto sí que no lo entiendo. ¿No se supone que eso es suyo? ¿Lo de las farolas? And then you stopped. And I didn't have anything left to show people. I, I just had to be with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. Nothing. Less than nothing. 
What does that mean? I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. That's why I'm releasing this collection of your work. Is because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything. And so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. I know I screwed up. If I apologize to you truly and deeply, Will you start making games again? Please, I need to feel okay with myself again. And I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work, but I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Can I apologize? What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to, I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay.